Is there pressure for me going into finals? You know, I think that there's definitely like people trying to apply pressure, but really everyone's been so supportive and I'm not putting pressure on myself either. Cuba's never been represented on an international stage, so just by being here, or on this international stage in this such of a manner, so just by being here, by winning these prizes, like the silver and last night's awards, I've made history for my country, and so I think the trick is to just enjoy it all. If you put so much pressure and so much emphasis on just winning, and that's your only version of success, you lose out on a lot of the really beautiful, meaningful experiences that are to be had here with such a pageant like this. So it's not the very first time, and we have been picking up popularity, the small pageant community in Guam. But I am only the fourth Miss Earth Cuba, and only the second to be here competing live. That's correct. I am. So it's a the story's a little bit funny, but yes, my trainer Jan Quijano, he is Filipino, but he is married to a Cuban, so he's, he's married to a Cuban, so the love for Cuba runs deep within him, but it, our story's a little bit funny, so he, he saw some pictures of me after I won, and in his words, he fell in love, and so he reached out to my director, wanted to have me walk for one of his fashion shows, and eventually I saw his design, and it's actually the design I'm going to be wearing for my long gown competition. And I went to go try it on and we just really hit it off and so he asked if I, if I was in need of a trainer and I was and so now we're working together. Uh, uh, how did you become a Miss Earth and Cuba? Because I've heard that you joined uh, Miss, uh, Miss Florida and USA. Yes, is correct. That, is that, is that, correct? that is correct. So although I was born and raised in Cuba, I did come over to the United States. I immigrated as a refugee and so I have US citizenship as well and I study in the United States and so I kind of have both available to me. But after I got back into pageants with Miss Florida USA, the one I competed in last, well, two summers ago now, two summers ago, I really got the pageant bug and I just, but I didn't feel like that was where I needed to be. I knew in my heart I wanted to represent my country and I just kept coming back to Miss Earth School. I kept coming back because this is the biggest pageant that's available to us as Cuban women is Miss Earth. And so I reached out to the director and the rest is history. <laughs> I'm having the best time. I'm having the best time. I feel like this is such a unique experience, not only to visit and get to know the Philippines, but in such a manner as this, right? When else do you get to be kind of chauffeured around and kind of rolled out the red carpet for you wherever you go and really get to feel that hospitality from the people. It's just so incredibly enriching and exciting and I've absolutely loved it. It actually reminds me a lot of Gula in a lot of ways. I've, I've come to find that our cultures have a lot of similarities and so I feel very at home here. And this won't be the last time I'm in the Philippines, I promise you that. I mean, I had the time of my life. <laughs> I can tell you can ask anyone that was there. I danced pretty much all the way up until I was on the stage. I was having so much fun. The music, the production was incredible. It was like these like tribal drums that you just felt you just wanted to dance. And so the rain did. I don't. It didn't put a damper on the experience. It changed our plans a little bit for sure because we had to move some things around. But I know myself, as well as a lot of the other women I can vouch for, we had such an incredible time. We don't. We aren't here for the stage and the production. After all, we are drawn to Miss Earth for the chance to really put our advocacies on high and to get the experience of a lifetime. And that's still what we got, regardless of whether the rain came or not. Yes, I do. Thank you so, so, so much for the support. I could not be here and do what I do without the love and support from dedicated fans like you. Los quiero tanto. Y es mi honor más grande en mi vida de Nicuá. Aquí en mi banda, en mi corazón y representarlo. Los quiero tanto. Amor.